It's time to give props to one of the longest running series out there. Dynasty Warriors launched on the original PlayStation on June 30th, 1997 in North America. Omega Force developed it, which was a newly formed division of Koei. It's based on a set of Chinese historical novels and another Koei series, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which debuted in 1985. Today the series is well known as a hack and slash RPG, but it began as a weapon based fighting game. It's no Street Fighter or Soul Calibur to be more precise, but it's still pretty good. Omega Force and Koei didn't immediately turn Dynasty Warriors into a cash cow. Instead, they worked on three other projects. Enigma was an adventure game which only released in Japan. Distraga was another fighting game, albeit on a more DBZ level of chaos. And Winback was a third-person shooter. They're all pretty decent, although I can't say much about Enigma since it's all in Japanese and I couldn't really understand what was going on. After this experimentation, Omega Force brought back Dynasty Warriors with its second installment arriving on October 26, 2000 in North America for the PS2. This is where the common gameplay elements of today started, and it's been like this ever since, more or less. Critics may chastise the series for being too samey, but if you take a look at every generation, it evolves ever so slightly. With better graphics and engines, the team has a lot more to play with. More enemies can appear on screen, maps get bigger, and heroes get broader. There's a deeper bond fans have with Dynasty Warriors 2, aside from the endless mayhem of slashing thousands of dead-eyed warriors, and that's the co-op. Omega Force is one of the few remaining developers that constantly incorporates couch co-op into their games. For the most part, that is. I'm not saying this series doesn't have flaws. For example, the one thing I miss from modern iterations is localized voice acting. The English actors in Dynasty Warriors weren't winning any awards for their performances, but their cheesy portrayals added to the game's charm. Japanese voice work is usually better, but it's hard to read text while in the middle of battle. And yes, it can get repetitive if you're not playing with a friend, so I understand where the haters are coming from. That said, sometimes it's just fun to turn your brain off and wail on some dudes. Understandably, that sort of sensation isn't for everyone though. Since the second game, Omega Force has pretty much become a Dynasty Warriors printing press, but there has been a series of spin-offs in between each main release, which I go into in another video. But to end this, I want to talk about the future of Dynasty Warriors, which is Dynasty Warriors 9, which just got a trailer very recently. It's going to be an open world hack and slash RPG. I don't know what that means. Are the maps just gonna be huge and intertwining? It'll be one of the first big steps for Dynasty Warriors pretty much since two. Yes, the mechanics have ripened through each main evolution through each new console, but this one feels like a really big step up. So I'm hoping it's everything I dream it could be. I also hope they bring back English voice acting and I hope co-op still remains intact. There's no release date right now, but I'm guessing 2018, probably. But if you're new to the series, you may be saying, that's all well and good, but what am I to do right now? What should I play? In terms of the main series, I think 7 is the best game, but if you have newer consoles, you should probably just pick up 8. And as I said, make sure you got a buddy, and maybe some drinks too. That is, if you're of age. And with that, I want to close out and say, Happy 20th Anniversary Dynasty Warriors! You are an underappreciated gem. Did you know that was a Reaction Examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out Tom Mops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal and the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.